If you found this video, then you're probably interested in field recording, but you don't know where to start. I hope this video will be helpful for you. I don't know who is watching or who you are, but this video is meant to give you an overview and what is involved of being a field recordist in 2021. Now, before we get started, let me just give you a little bit of background of myself because I have nothing to do with sound before I start recording. Libby and I were traveling the world since almost six years and we started out with sound recording back in 2017 in Cambodia. We worked on a project and that was the reason why we needed sound. We also created a video, how a field recorder changed my life. You can check it out right here. Also, if you're interested in more behind the scenes, feel free to follow us on our Instagram account at Freedio Sounds. So now let's get into the video. Let's break this video into different sections, starting with gear and budget. If it comes to gear, it can be quite overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be if you keep it simple. In this video, I'm talking about my own experience and I want to talk to you as a beginner. So please keep it simple and not expensive. You don't want to buy high-end gear, spending thousands of dollars, and then you find out later that field recording is not for you. So don't make this mistake. What recorders are in a budget-friendly or beginner range? And I do have to say that I only use Zoom products in the past and currently, but this is not a sponsored video, but it's totally okay to start out with the Zoom H1N, Zoom H2N, what is very interesting because it has already four microphones in this tiny device, or a Zoom H4N with two XLR inputs. So you can check them out, you can start out with these recorders. If you have a recorder, make sure you start using wind protection. And if you start with one of these Zoom recorders, feel free to check out the WSU-01. It's a universal windscreen that can fit on the H1N all the way up to the H8. Now, if you are a field recordist who is experienced by now, but you probably started out with another budget-friendly recorder that I have mentioned, would be very interesting and very nice to know what recorder did you use when you started out and what was your experience that you made. It's very helpful for me to have a conversation, but also for the people who like to go through the comments and reading. So please leave us a comment down below and let us know what your budget-friendly field recorder was when you started out. Let's say you have a recorder, but you don't know what to record. We made a video about how to create your first sound library at home. You can check it out right here, but maybe you don't want to record sound at home. You want to record sounds outside of your home. So how can you do this? Maybe think about your interests, your professions or your hobbies, and then think how can you connect this with sound recording. Now imagine you are a chef and let me tell you there are people out there right now searching for kitchen sound effects. So you could start right there. You are a musician. Maybe you have some drumsticks. You can walk around your neighborhood and you can record all kinds of percussion sounds that you later on can use to create musical samples. It's incredible what you can do. Or you live in a big city and you're always annoyed by the sounds by this noise. But to be honest, city sounds, to record them is one of my favorite things to do. And just think about movie and film production. Maybe next time when you watch a movie that plays in a big city, just listen to the background sound. So what happens around these actors? And maybe one day when you record these sounds, these sounds could be your sounds used in these films. Or maybe you are a hiker and nature enthusiast. So next time you go on a trip, bring your field recorder and I'm sure that you record rivers, birds, wild animals, or the wind in the tree. You have so many options, either is it at day or at night time. Now you have the sound recorder, then what are you gonna do with them? You need to edit these sounds. And I personally use Adobe Audition, but I don't recommend you signing up for a subscription, especially as a beginner. There are great softwares like Audacity and Reaper. You're gonna find great tutorials for both of these softwares here on YouTube. And I can't stress enough and talk about metadata. This is something that I did not follow from the beginning of my sound recording journey and I don't want that you make the same mistake that I did. Organize and name your files the right way from the beginning, not only for your own sake, but also if you intend to sell your sounds. You're gonna make a lot of people happy, but you have also a better chance 
to sell these sounds. We made a video about metadata in the universal category system, so I highly recommend you checking out this video or you follow the link in the description down below. And if you start using the universal category system, you start writing the metadata and follow these guidelines, you have a huge leg up to the people who don't. The next thing I would love to talk with you about is consistency. In the last three and a half years that I record sound, I saw a lot of highly motivated individuals come and go. Some people think success comes overnight, but it doesn't happen to all of us. It requires a lot of hard work and this might be not for everyone because it is a mindset. And for everything in your life, if you wanna have success, Consistency is the key to it. Consistency opens possibilities. Back in 2017, when I started out, I only had a Zoom H1. What I didn't have was experience or any kind of connections. I gained experience and knowledge because I never stopped recording and researching. I found new equipment, new ways how to record sounds, and most important, I could connect with new people and I found what I really love to record. And to be honest, and I wanna be really honest with you, the favorite sounds that I love to record is either big cities or industrial sounds. This is where I thrive, but this is not for everyone. There are people out there who rather be in the wild and recording wildlife. And that's great because it gives the people who are searching for sounds a huge range and way more varieties of sounds that they can use in their projects. What I'm about to tell you maybe makes you uncomfortable, but it's the reason why I'm standing here in front of you, why we are able to travel the world and making a living from it. Yes, it is because of field recording, but also social media. Without these key factors, there wouldn't be free to use sounds. And in 2021, having your own brand, your own web store, your own website, your own social media handles, it is crucial. We can connect with real people who trust us, who are buying our sound libraries, who support us monthly on Bandcamp and on YouTube. Yes, we have two YouTube supporters and we are so grateful for it. I know there are people watching right now and you're probably afraid of self-promoting, but this is something what I do every single day and it brought me to this point. This is 2021 and if you want to sell your products that you're proud of, then you have to be the face of it. Your family, your friends and your co-workers, they know you. But if you want to reach other people beyond that, you have to get uncomfortable. I read a quote the other day and it's on Unsplash and it said, people don't trust ads, people trust people. And just let it sink in and think about it. There's an ad, the faceless company, no personality, and they promote a product, and then there's the product of a content creator that you follow since months or years, and you know exactly who that person is. What do you click on? What are you gonna buy? We are almost at the end of the video, and I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share it with your friends or family if you found this video could benefit somebody else. Why am I gonna ask you this? because that way our channel can grow and we can connect with new people as well. So thank you so much and we see you very soon.